Hey y'all, it's Mina. Today for dinner, I did my rendition of chicken cacciatore. Y'all, this was so bomb, so flavorful, and the chicken was so perfect and tender and juicy. Listen, and this was not really hard. It was a bunch of steps, but it was nothing hard, nothing difficult about this. And it tasted like a restaurant quality meal, like seriously this might even be five star you know normally i say like a 4.5 <laughs> this might even be a five star meal yo okay so i started out by seasoning my chicken i have some chicken breasts skinless boneless that i have sliced in half and i did that so that um it wouldn't take as long to cook and like i said y'all the chicken was so tender it was just ridiculously tender Okay, now I'm going to season both sides of these and you can season with whatever you want. I just use salt, pepper, seasoning salt and garlic powder. Really simple. And I have some oil heating up in my pan and I don't want to put any flour in here. I didn't want to make this like a gravy, you know, because I'm putting tomatoes and stuff in there and I didn't want it all, you know, super thick. And I was able to fit all six of these pieces in this pan comfortably the only thing about this pan that I used is I don't have a lid for this and for this dish you have to cover it and let it simmer on low for a little bit so I had to <laughs> improvise and I used an old cookie sheet a rounded cookie sheet that didn't quite fit the top you know hey but I made do Okay, so the next step for this is I'm going to slice up all my veggies and you can put all whatever your favorite veggies are. I did onion, celery, bell pepper, tomatoes, parsley, and I chopped up some mushrooms. Oh my goodness, these mushrooms, you could have eat. I could have eaten these all by themselves. <laughs> oh my goodness, this dish was so amazing. Y'all know I don't like to toot my own horn, but hey, <laughs> toot toot. <laughs> no, I'm just joking, y'all. This was really good. And the celery, I'm slicing really small. I don't want great big hunks of celery in there, but I do want that flavor in my sauce. And when you cook the chicken, guys, you don't have to cook it completely because it's going to cook some more in the sauce and you don't want to overdo it. You know, sometimes you overcook chicken and it tends to get a little tough. So we didn't want to do that here. And as you can see, I'm not like chopping the vegetables. I'm like slicing, making, you know, long slices. And y'all, I don't know what else to say about this dish. This, this might be probably in my top five recipes, my top five meals that I've ever prepared ever super delicious you know what it's along the line of what's it called chicken cacciatore a little different though no olives you know yes yeah, a little bit different I don't think chicken cacciatore has peppers in it I don't know for sure I don't know somebody fill me in and let me know <laughs> And guys, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. If you like the video or something about the video, please hit that like button. And to all my current subscribers, guys, y'all know I love y'all already. <laughs> oh my goodness, here's okay, my tomatoes. And these are some 49 cent a piece tomatoes. But y'all... The sauce was so delicious. And as you can see, I am chopping the tomatoes because I want this to cook into the sauce. Unlike the peppers, I want the peppers to stay, you know, kind of intact. I want to be able to taste those peppers. But like I said, I want these tomatoes to, you know, blend into the sauce and become part of the sauce. You know what? And one of the other things that I'm going to season this with is coriander. Y'all, if you haven't used it 
you got to try it. It's like one of my new favorite seasonings. I'm learning, you know, as I'm doing this cooking channel thing, I'm learning to use new seasonings, you know, along with showing you guys, you know, the way that I use some of this stuff. And I'm not on here trying to be a teacher. I'm just showing you some of the things that I like to do, you know. And, you know, if you can learn something along the way, a hey, good shit, you know. And I, like I said before, I love to hear the feedback. You know, you guys leave comments, even constructive criticism, as long as you are respectful. But I love the comments, the feedback. It lets me know that you are watching and you're paying attention. And I appreciate that. Okay, so I have all my veggies minus the tomatoes. I'm not going to put that in until after I do the tomato paste. But we're going to cook this down and let these veggies soften up a little bit. And we are going to season these even before we season the sauce. You know, we got to do every aspect of the recipe. So what you didn't see me do was put salt and pepper in there. That's all I did for the veggies. A little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. And this tomato paste, I ended up using almost the full can. And this is one of those bigger cans. And if you have the tube stuff, that's cool too. You know, I think that's even more concentrated than this. So you wouldn't even need as much. And you see me, the bang for the buck, y'all, off brand. <laughs> but it works, you know. When you're on a budget and I'm trying to be a baller on a budget, you see I'm cooking, like I said, what could be like a five-star meal somewhere else, you know. But it's in Miss Mina's kitchen. And I promise you it's going to be just as good. Okay, so now we're going to add the chopped parsley and our tomatoes. Y'all, look how beautiful that dish looks already. So colorful. Oh, my goodness. You could actually make this like a vegan thing, you know, and put maybe more mushrooms in it and substitute, you know, the meat for mushrooms. Okay, so I have some Italian seasoning and some coriander I'm going to use in here. And y'all know one of my all-time favorite seasonings is that little packet of garlic parmesan wing seasoning. Y'all, it is not just for chicken. I use it in everything, especially like Italian style dishes like this, you know, anything tomato based or, you know, if you're going to add some cheese to it. However, this dish right here, no cheese, no cream. You know, everybody's doing the Alfredo thing, you know. No, we want something a little bit different. Okay, so I'm adding some parsley flakes. I said parsley flakes. <laughs> Red chili flakes. Garlic powder. And here it is, y'all. That garlic parmesan seasoning is no joke. It is really powerful. You know, the garlic in here is something else. So you only really need a little bit. Unless you're like a garlic fanatic, you know. You want to keep the vampires away. You know, do your thing. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to start adding my water in, in intervals until it gets to the consistency I want it. And you have to remember, too, this is going to cook down. So you want to add a little more water than what you, you know, than what it looks like. You want it, you know, you want it to be more liquidy beforehand so that when it cooks down, you know, it'll still have a little bit of liquid in there, but it won't be all watery and runny. Y'all, my kitchen smells amazing right now. Oh my goodness. You know how you walk in the door of Olive Garden or one of those places like that, and all you smell is like you know, the garlic and the tomatoes and the, ooh, it smells delicious. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and add our chicken back in here. And you see, like I said, it's not fully cooked yet because we're going to cook it again for, we're going to let this simmer for another like 15 or so minutes in this sauce. And y'all don't clown me about my lid. <laughs> My little cookie sheet lid. And you see, I put those drippings, all those chicken drippings right there in that sauce because we want all that chicken flavor in there. Otherwise, I'm thinking it would probably taste just like spaghetti sauce, you know, 
But like I said, because we cooked, you know, put all those juices in there, the chicken and oh my goodness, y'all, you should smell this right now. It is so bomb. And right now I'm just kind of covering this. I want to get all that tomato flavor, all those sauces, that, those peppers. I want that all over and in my chicken. And if you wanted to, you could like slice the chicken before you put it in the sauce. You know, I just wanted to. More so for the presentation, you know. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. Now we're going to add that lid and let it cook down. And this is the final result, y'all. Miss Mina's chicken. I don't know what to call it. <laughs> Miss Mina's chicken my way. But oh my goodness, look at that. And the chicken was so moist and juicy. And flavorful, packed with flavor. Like I said, y'all, my husband, hubby woke up and asked about this for breakfast. You know, pack me some in my bag for work. <laughs> So, you know, look at that. All those peppers and onions. And if you just wanted to, you could put like the olives, some black olives or some queen olives or whatever you like, you know. Even some corn might be good in here. You know, if you want that little crunch. Because there was nothing in here that was crunchy, you know, everything was nice and tender. And but like I said, if you wanted a little crunch, you could do some peppercorns or something. I don't know. Do it your way. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. And as always, stay blessed.